Hey guys, welcome to Git Response Tutorial Part 3, where we are going to learn how to create pop up forms. And there are different kinds of pop up forms we are going to create today in this video. I hope you will enjoy this video, so be patient a bit and we will create and do a tremendous work. Okay. Because most of the people find it very difficult to create pop-up forms. But we will do it very smooth, very easily, guys. Okay, and what is the advantage of get, res uh, get response pop-up form is that the sign-up percentage increase by 600 to 800 if you use these pop-up forms on your websites. So we let's start with it. Click on create. Uh, login into your website, uh, login into get response account and then click on forms and then click last time we have clicked on list builder this time we will click on okay as soon as you click on list builder form if you want to see how it's working and different seven types of form I will show it to click on not use app form just click on those download form download box and you will see how it loads the first one that is sign up how it comes second is scrollable as you scroll down it keeps on the right uh, right hand bottom side of it third one is the fix bar it fix in the top bar and whenever user feel like he can fill up this one download box he can download a free guide guys okay and he will see the subscription like this and he can download it the fifth one is shaker as you can see this is shaking just grab the attention of user now exit pop-up somebody close the website and it's open up so even if he is going from your website okay guys if he is going from your website even he can still you can get him signed up next is image box image box is an image along with the form if you want that you can use that one is let me try the fix power one which is a pretty good one for a blogging website guys if you have a good blogging you have a good content uh, use this one this work this work one tremendously good let me try this one for you now this is looks like this one uh, free sorry free update sign up now this looks very good not moving anywhere till you you do it or you can write free update sign up now and like you can write not yet convinced not yet convinced then wait this is one thing you can edit anything into it if you want to change the text color anything you want like let's check out our blog theme it is very bluish so we can use this one as well this is pretty fine if you want to make it a more highlighted one instead of black you can use any one like solid color is black if you want to make it this one you can still make it like green one just not looking good yellow one red one you can try pink you can try blue shades if you want to try this is pretty attracting kind of thing but you should do not try to get the user very blindfolded with these kind of uh, things you try to be uh, very good with it uh, this is not looking good uh, let's try some blue shade it's still looking good 
guys this is how we can make the changes in the form and if you want to edit it you can make a change image solid color or you have fixed image related to it you can still put that as well you can decide the colors as well anything like go into settings this is about the form next thing is form name that's it is a fixed bar form so we can use it fixed bar we can name it fixed bar on blog this is for my blog only next is campaign campaign is something on which campaign like for each website i make a campaign so i push every f uh, user into it next is guys opt in confirmed opt in so these all the forms are double opt in forms guys remember double opt in is the form when user fill up the details he has to confirm those details on his email id so i will tell you how we can convert this double opt in into a single opt in form in the upcoming tutorials next is the autoresponder series uh, if you have made any autoresponder series like here sign up get uh, get update sign up now like you want to send them blogs you can send them those blogs as well through the cycles and top and bottom like on the top page or bottom next is display effect fades or slide how it will go actually this is all about okay as soon then you can publish it that is that it is that easy now if you are not having again a coded web uh, if you are having a coded website then you can use this code otherwise you can go directly to wordpress let me show it to you now let me drag another get response i want both the forms on my page i want both the forms let's reload it because the data is not yet updated because i have just published the form only so i open the first one and now it is you can see it is loading from get response only here are the options fixed bar form blog and you publish it that is the beauty of this you don't have to do anything in to integrate of get response now just reload this page that's it that's it guys as you can see on your screen it's done how easy it is got it how easy it is to publish to get a pop up forms on your website how easy it is let's make another pop up form if you are not feeling very good with it nothing great we have done till now <laughs> we can make a new form for that you have to just go back and try another type of form like uh, scrollable uh, shake a form like let's grab the attention of user let's hit him to sign up click on try it now to grab the user attention don't forget to sign up our newsletter it's free and shaking will stop instead of that you can write down download free email marketing courseware okay at free of cost i am giving it at free of cost i am giving them a course now i want their email ids display second as as soon as somebody come up on my website it should be displayed display frequencies when it should be display like if somebody is coming uh, like if i select always then whenever the user comes it will be displayed if i select one day then it will be displayed after one day okay 
between the two visit there should be one day at least so that it should display the form next time third day is like he comes on 25th of december after that he comes on 29th of december then the form will be displayed otherwise till 25th and till 28th no form is displayed it will be displayed once on 25th not after that I prefer it to do it always autoresponder I have already told you what is autoresponder is series cycle then click on save and publish let's uh, uh, let's change the form name as shaker shaker for blog and publish it again and reload i am sure this time you are aware of how it works it's just you have to get into get response and select the form out of here you have to select the form like shake blogger and publish it now when you go on the website that is digital career dot in uh, slash index dot php slash blog you will find it here in the middle now you have one two and three forms over this page if somebody not subscribed he will subscribe it here if not then here that is the beauty of this they click on any page they go anywhere on our website blog three of the page will be there just i want to edit the settings nothing else that's it in my pages i have to edit that setting here in my page it is like that i am not sure about your website and if i publish it preview it even preview would work you will be able to see it okay shaker three of them anywhere you want you have to just push it okay nothing else you have to do you have to select one form that said how easy it is guys i am taking bye bye from this particular video and in the next video we will learn how to integrate with facebook aha uh -huh. it is a new thing with get response integration so guys have a good night and see you in the next video okay bye bye see you